Hi guys, this is Edward and welcome to the 12th video tutorial of creating a floppy burger with Godot. On this video we are going to keep working on the post menu. We will add one more button and add some more details. So let's get into it. We will first create a button right here in the middle so the player can go to the main menu. So in the post container I will add a texture button node. I'll rename it btm menu and for its normal texture I'm going to assign the bottom menu sprite. I'll resize it so it fits the size of the sprite and in order to place it in the middle of the view since its size is 40 by 14 I'll set its exposition to 144 divided by 2 minus 40 divided by 2 and its white position to half 256 minus half 14 and there we have it to give it functionality on this button I'll add a built-in script I'll name it btm menu and as always I'll remove all these comments When we press this button, we just want to be taken to the main menu stage. So the next lines of code are going to be really straightforward. On ready, I will connect the signal pressed to the self node to the function on pressed, which I will create down here. And on this function from the stage manager, we will call the function change the stage and as argument we will pass stage manager that stage menu and we haven't actually created this variable so let's head to the stage manager script and below the constant stage game I'll declare another one named stage menu equals to the path of the menu stage which is under the stage folder under the name menu stage.csn. Let's go back to the btm menu script. Let's give it a shot. And when I pause and press the menu button, nothing happens. And that is because all the nodes under the post container do indeed keep running on post, but the stage manager doesn't. And easy way to fix this is resuming the game before changing the stage. So before this line, I'm going to get the scene tree, call the function, set pause, and set it to false. Let's try it out. I'll pause the game, and when I press the menu button, we go to the main menu. And from here we can go back to the game stage. Now. Once the bear gets hit, we should actually hide the post bottom, because at this point it's useless since the game over container covers the whole view. So in the bottom post script, we will look for the bear by using utils that get main node that get node bird. And if we found it from the bird, we're going to connect the signal state changed to the self node to the function on burst state changed which I'll create down here with the bird as a parameter and here we will ask if bird dot get state is equals to bird dot state hit and if it's so we will call the function hide now the bird goes to the hit state when it hits a pipe, but it could happen that the game ends having the bird only hitting the ground. So down below I'll ask if the state is grounded. And if it's so, we'll hide this node. Let's give it a shot. And when the bird hits the ground, the post bottom gets hidden. If we hit a pipe, it gets hidden as well. But you can see that the score still shows until the bird hits the ground. So to fix that, let's go to the hbox score script. 
and in the function on burst state changed, we won't only hide when the bird goes to the ground state, but also when it goes to the heat state. Let's give it a shot. And when the bird hits a pipe, both the post bottom and the score get hiding. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. As always, hit the like button if you have found this useful. A big thanks to all my patrons, I really appreciate the support. And until next time, see you later.